Just taking a quick look at this Vito Man Flash Speed 1500. This is an all new model from Vito Man. And I've made, you know, a couple of videos talking about this brand and that Edo Story brand as well because they, you know, they appear to be being made by the same manufacturer, just put, you know, under two different brand names. But, um, you know, basically each of those units kind of had their own pros and cons. So <laughs> what it kind of looks like they've done here is actually taken like the best features from both of those brands and put them into this whole, this, you know, this brand new unit. So this is actually, and it's got a very nice uh, kind of more modern design as well. Now, you know, we'll talk about the design stuff as usual, kind of towards, you know, towards the end of the video a little bit more. And so just to jump in and talk about the specs here real quick, you know, basically LFP battery, yes. And we do get um, an expandable option as well. Now, you know, they've always kind of had this extra battery. But we do get kind of, again, they kind of, you know, redesigned this battery, made it just, you know, look a little bit more modern. Now, one thing to note is that in the video, they actually show that these indicator lights are actually white to kind of match the main unit a little bit more. So that's kind of interesting, um, you know, whether they're white or blue, who knows. And then, you know, of course, we do get a good size inverter with this thing. And this was kind of the, the big drawback of these Vito Mans. Um, I don't remember the exact, you know, details and specs. But compared to that Edo story unit, you, you were limited in basically, you know, if you wanted the big inverter, you couldn't get like the big capacity or, or, or the opposite. You know, if you wanted the big capacity, you could only get the smaller inverter, something like that. It was really weird. Um, but and then also, too, there was the I don't think they ever had the, the fast charge. Now, we'll get to the charging stuff here in a second, but I don't think they even offered the fast charge, you know, from the wall on, the, on these Beetleman units either. So, you know, again, they've, they've basically all the top specs, all the top features, they put them all into this unit. So we do get a 1500 watt inverter. So this is, you know, continuous. And then they do have this, you know, all these companies, it's getting a little crazy here, but all these companies kind of come up with, a, with a, some kind of silly name for this. Basically, you know, this feature where it drops the voltage so you can run resist, resistive loads you know, it'll drop the voltage, like the like kettles, hair dryers, stuff like that. If you have something that does draw, typically draw more than 1500 watts. So they're saying you can do that up to stuff, something that would typically draw up to 2400 watts. I haven't seen any mention of an app with this unit. So this is the one thing I would just kind of be cautious with this is I don't know if there's a way to turn that, that feature on or off. Um, so that's kind of a, a question mark. All right, and so for the charging, this is the, the real big improvement. Basically everything's carried over from that Edel story. You know, I think the, uh, those older Beetlemans, they, they only had like, I think it was just this 200 watt DC input. It was, it was really low. Um, but so now we do get kind of big specs here. This is, you know, 1500 watts. And it is, as you can see right there, it is just using the standard wall cord. So that's good stuff. Now, again, no mention of an app. So no mention of being able to slow that down. So that, you know, that's, that's something you might want to be aware of because you don't always want to do such a fast charge. Now, of course, you can just, always use the solar, you know, you can just always use the solar and it's pretty good specs, you know, 400 Watts and it is using that Anderson input, which I like to see. Now, the one thing to note, and again, this is just like that Edo story is the voltage input is only 30 to 60 volts. So this means you cannot use just a standard single solar panel, right? Cause those are somewhere around 18, 20 volts. So you're going to have to, if you have a solar panel, you want to use with this unit, buy another one, buy the same exact solar panel, just buy another one hook them up in series, and then you're gonna be good to go or just you know, look for uh, some kind of solar panel that has a higher voltage rating, right? Between 30 and 60 volts. And then you're gonna be good. Now, you, know, you still get this kind of 200 watt DC input. This would be mostly you would just use this to charge from the car. And if you really wanna get crazy, you can actually pump power into all three of these ports at the same time. And this thing does have the UPS, so 20 milliseconds or less is what they're claiming. Um, so that's you know, always good to see. And then we do get this, this is really nice. I, I always like to kind of see this, is there's a little storage box at the top of this unit. Uh, this is just a good idea, right? Because if you're using a power station, you, you always got some kind of cable or something you're using with this thing, right? I mean, you got uh, for the car, for, for solar, for you're using got USB, you know, whatever. There's always cables, so, or, or the, just the wall, the wall charger cable, right? So it's just always nice to have that and just have, have it up there. All right, now just to kind of talk about the design here real quick, I actually really like this update. This is a, you know, it basically it, it's very similar, you know, yes, it's similar to what was going on with both the Edo story and those other Vitamans. Now, obviously the big news is you, you do get the flat top and we do get this uh, handle design, which is really nice, you know, basically being tucked into the unit. 
So this is kind of what I like to see. It does kind of stick out just a little bit, but you know, it's pretty good. And the other big improvement too, because the Edo story did kind of have that flat top, but if you actually, oh, if you actually look at the reviews on that thing, a lot of people were saying because the handle was just, the whole handle was basically part of this, the top part. So they were saying, you know, because of the poor build quality, you could just almost like rip that. When you try to lift the thing, you would just rip the, the top off, right? So this is a big improvement here. Um, because as you can see, it's kind of a split handle design. Like part of the handle is part of the top part here. And then actually the, uh, the other part of the handle is actually goes all the way down to, to the bottom, right? So this is like in theory, this should be, you know, as far as the, the, the structure of this thing and just, you know, how solid this handle is, it should be much, much better, right? And as far as the aesthetics go, this is, I think this is, this is a very successful design. I think uh, whoever designed this did a pretty good job. Now, you know, again, it's very similar to what we had, but they just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. I really like how they have all these different plastic pieces kind of, they just kind of fit together so well. And, you know, they were proud of what they did because actually, if you, if you look at some of these other images, you can actually see that they're using kind of different colored plastics as well for, for these parts, right? This, this area down here is kind of like a, you know, a lighter gray and then the, the top part is like a darker gray. And, uh, and that just, you know, it just looks really nice. And then in the center here, this is what really makes it look more modern. There's this large black, kind of, it's, it's like a gloss black area. And what it does is they're still using the same screen, as you can see. It's still using that same screen they've been using. But because it's kind of tucked behind this gloss black area, you know, you don't really notice it. You know, you don't notice that there's a little screen there. Now, in certain lighting conditions, you will kind of see that screen back there. But a lot of the times you won't, right? It'll just kind of give you the, the display information there and it'll just look integrated into this, uh, this whole area, right? So this is just, uh, I do like to kind of, kind of see that. Now, just a few last little notes about this unit, um, 41.5 pounds. So actually that's, you know, for these specs, that's pretty good. Um, the only thing that I am disappointed to see 110 volts AC. So I still don't understand why these companies can't figure out, you know, it should be 120 volts. Now, is it gonna run all of your appliances safely? Yes, basically, typically anything above 108 volts is gonna be good, but just be aware, you know, you don't wanna be using some like super long extension cord with this thing, right? Because then you could have the, the voltage drop a little bit further. And then, you know, the reviews here, they basically added this new unit to their existing listings. So, you know, no, it doesn't have 142 ratings on this brand new unit. So yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this uh, this overview helpful interesting and yeah thanks for watching